Good luck. I think I wished him good luck. I'm not sure. Like, at the beginning of the game, we both wished each other good luck and stuff. Okay. Yeah. He's not pinging me with something additional here. Sorry about that. Um, so... castle at least a little bit before I do anything too crazy. Hmm. See, if he's committed to the same stuff I'm doing... Gold to 3-9 here is something of an option. Um, yeah, I am playing with fire here. You've got an interesting position. So if either of us pushes this fourth file pawn, um, then this pawn here hangs. So I really didn't expect that to happen. Because defending against this particular advance becomes a bit awkward once this is hanging. That's the reason I didn't push my, uh, I guess, the sixth foul pawn. Yeah, we have got a violent game on our hands already. Um, but this is what the teaching ladder is about. It's about trying new stuff. It's about learning from experienced opponents. And over time, we'll all learn everything. But it's going to take a while. I'm not saying it's about opening tricks and traps and stuff, but, um, I don't know, this seemed fairly normal, I think. There are certainly trickier things out there. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. We have something on our hands here. Uh, that's something. So if I take this, if rook takes, if I pawn drop, the best I can find is rook takes pawn here. 
Uh, like, this sacrifice seems like their only way out. Uh, if I take this pawn, if they take this, we're both promoting and stuff gets crazy and out of control. Um, so I take the silver. I don't know if they promote or take my silver right away, but yeah, that's not the way to go. So this has to be my play here. Um, so I know I said kicking the rook was my best move. Um, if I don't do that, they're going to pawn drop right in front of uh, here and then push. So, yeah, I need to stop that from happening. Uh, like, if their only option were pawn drop on 2-8 here, that would be a different matter. Right, so this was expected, but um, somehow I wasn't concerned. We're both getting a lot of active pieces here. Um, so if I take the rook, bishop takes. Um, yeah, I just felt this was much better for me, so. Do I still feel that way? I'm not completely convinced. Um, so one option is that I protect my center pawn. That looks important. Um, he's got another bishop drop coming. So I could take this pawn here, or they take my rook, I take back. Um, I'm sorry, if I take this pawn, likely they just take here with check. And I retreat, and they bishop, well, they bishop drop's not that effective here. And then they could take my gold. Uh, so... I'm split between do I move up and allow, or where did the other bishop drop happen? I was afraid of moving my rook up because of a drop here, but I have that covered. Um, yeah, no, I think this is a sensible place to drop my rook, since there is no immediate bishop drop to exploit it. They can take my lance, threatening to put their other bishop into the corner. Um, I'm not sure if that that's great. And right now I'm threatening pawn takes pawn and then pawn takes silver. Um, so that's kind of a threat. If they do nothing, I can bring my knight out. 
Well, no, I can't because this hangs, but we can pretend that I can. Alright, so don't move this gold up because then there's a bishop drop back here. Well, there is and there isn't. <laughs> there is a bishop drop back here. It loses the bishop. Hmm. Interesting. My most aggressive move is rook drop, forking the gold and the pawn and the bishop. Um, it's countered by a bishop drop on this longest diagonal, but I could take the gold then. So, um, Yeah, at least for now, things seem to be under control. So, I'm threatening to grab a pawn and also take the bishop and take here again and try to break in. Um, thing I might want to do is complete my castle, just get my king out of here, just so I don't get completely wrecked. Um, eventually that's going to pay off. I don't know when, but, um, but no, taking the pawn would allow me to pawn drop and start, well, there's no continuation. Um, Yeah, I'm going to get my king out of immediate danger here. Um, and then we're going to try to find some way to continue attacking. I guess the problem here is that now his bishop drop on this diagonal is kind of strong. Um, so I might be forced to do uh, to sack to get the bishop back and then take over here or something. I'm playing with fire and I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm probably going to get burned at some point. Yes, yeah, so that kind of hurts. Um, so they get my lance. Um,
So I'm trying to read ahead to like when my knight takes up on here. Um, Gonna try to escape the knight and sack it near the king. Another idea is pawn drop on this file to try to like sack my rook for multiple generals and try to force my way in, but I looked at that and it doesn't seem any good. I guess I missed this. Um, that's kind of a problem. I figured that um, supposing he has some counterattack here, I can likely meet that with a threat to promote on the second file to win a tempo if I need it. Although, yeah, if I end up moving my rook to the second file, they just lance drop, and I have to move again. Um, so my master plan is not really great. Right. So against this... Um, I guess we'll defend the pawn. I just found that... 30 seconds ago or something, but um, it makes a lot of sense. So we're floating a rook. Um, this entire time I have to remind myself, do not Nifu, because like, that would be sad. Yeah, so round and round we go where this all stops. Who knows? <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Okay, they're offering a lance in order to get their horse freed. Um, I'm not sure this actually frees the horse, because now I can silver attack the horse. I mean, what damage could I inflict with a lance? I could... oh. Like, if they take my knight... Um, I can't actually hit this stuff on the fourth file. So, the lance might not be the greatest piece for me to have. Um, if I drop it on the third file, they just put a pawn in the way. Or really, any file, they just put a pawn in the way. So, yeah, I'm not... I am kind of inclined to just hunt down this horse. Um... My rook isn't that great here anyway. 
so they could trade um, their horse for a rook and silver. I didn't even see that until after I moved. I tried, but I'm in time pressure. Um, yeah, what I saw was that they take my rook and promote, and that I take the horse. This is what I saw. Alright, so... Now what? I don't know. Time is precious here. Okay, I kind of have to just believe in my attack and go for it. Um, I think my attack is stronger than my opponent's attack. And part of the reason for that is because I'm going to get that lance and put it right down on the head of this stuff. Um, Right, I did see this coming. Um, there was only so much I could do about it, but I did imagine it. Um, okay, so we complete the Mino castle. Was this the plan all along, I wonder? Um, what is the point of this move? Maybe it's to set up a night drop. I figured it, he was trying to do a pawn drop here, and then I, move, then I move my rook over, and then he can't pawn drop there. Um... So maybe the point was to establish this night drop, but that doesn't seem targeting anything. 
Right, so... On the other hand, a Night Drop here might be effective. Um, The way I was reading this is that he's just trying to gain a tempo. But doesn't have a longer term plan here. And I'm not sure that a night drop here helps him. It commits the night, which otherwise might be useful. What I'm reading is like he wants to do bishop takes here, but then I do bishop takes promotion, hitting both the bishop and defending my silver. Um, Yes, I'm going to promote back here and strike the dragon while also threatening to lance drop on the head of his bishop. I'll take another lance. I'm not just going to give uh, my horse for nothing. And now, even if he knight drops, I might lance drop on his bishop. I don't know. Uh, in hindsight, probably not. Um, like, I don't find it convenient that he keeps attacking my rook, but I, there's what can I do? I have to just keep running away. I could have taken the first time, but then uh, he starts attacking my castle. So I found a way to keep slowing down his attack by allowing him to take stuff on the left side of the board here. Um, but yeah, I need to start attacking soon. To do that, my rook's got to be free. I don't quite have enough to trap their rook. If I could put both lances down at once, then I'd have a rook trap. But no, they would just interpose. The rook trap, or the dragon trap, would not work. Um, so I can stop thinking about that sort of idea. <sighs> What's the weakness of their castle? I mean, there's the head here. There's another head here. Um, so both of these heads are weak points. Um, but I'm out of attacking pieces. Looks 
like we're about to go into Mutual Bioyomi, so that'll be exciting. Oh, I hope nothing happened. I know we've had some difficulty organizing the time to play this match. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like we're still good. That's difficult. Um, well, I've identified the two heads of the castle that I want to attack. This is hard. That's a hard decision to make. Decision is between lance drop on the bishop's head like I'd planned, or the lance drop here, protecting my pawn, also hitting the other head of the castle which is probably the weakest point here. Um, like, yeah, this point is weak, but this point, if I could actually take it out, um, could maybe win me the game. So... Now we enter tactics. Yeah, this is where things get ugly. So I could take that horse, the knight, um... I think I have better. Wait, now if I take that, there are... Well, no, the bishop it doesn't stay here. It's not a stationary target. Alright, here we go. I think I read this accurately enough. Tactics, tactics everywhere.
30秒40秒30秒。30秒40秒50秒1 2 3So, I think I understand what I'm doing. So this was my idea. I was fishing for better ideas, but this is what I resolved on doing. Um, there might be other forcing ways to continue this.
30秒40秒50秒1234567So this frees my rook and enables me to do a bishop drop forking king and dragon. So, yeah, that's something. Also, if he takes my gold with the dragon, I could take his gold and I might have a mate. Maybe. 30 Um, but also the fork, and then maybe I have something to follow it up. Like with rook drops and stuff, maybe. Like this horse could actually get back into the game as part of the mating net, if there is one. So now the plan is pawn drop and then gold drop. Um, I think I have enough force here to mate. I should have read it out. I got impatient. I got extremely impatient. Um, But also, I'm afraid that I'm losing, but um, I can't let fear govern my actions as it currently does. I just read out that this dragon sack uh, looks like a mate. So yeah, I have to find a mate or I have to prevent the dragon sack from killing me. So, that's a thing.
and I missed that. Thank Thank Hmm. I think my attack has completely run out. That's disappointing. I also think this delays his attack by a single move. So I should try bringing my horse to the center and hope that I have an attack. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, right. So... Um, yeah, that makes a pretty clear mate threat. Well, 
that's not good. Yeah, that sucks. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. He keeps threatening to drop at, um, at my door here. And now he's got way more than enough firepower to do so. I don't really have a choice but to keep dropping here because, like, my mate is not working. Whatever mate threat I have isn't there. Isn't real. Well, if there's a time to gamble, that would be it. But I don't think that gamble works. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I have to play this, although this doesn't work. Well, hang on. If he drops... No, he needs to sack right behind here. He needs to bishop drop there. Somehow I read out that he has two bishops. He only has one bishop. So, maybe this is okay. If it is, it's extremely close. Right, so this is forced. So now he's gotten rid of his bishop. He's got three golds. Um, okay. Yeah. I misread this. Alright, good game. And, like I predicted, that's a rank down game. All right, let's do the post-game analysis. Um, yeah. What an adventure. <laughs> Literal gold line. I've never seen that before. So we're back in 3Q, and that's OK. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. <sighs> ha. I suppose that's opposite side castling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a new castle. Who knew, right? Um, 
engines will tell us about the end game for years to come. <laughs> propose let's let's analyze from the beginning <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to analyze like this got pretty wild disappointing if he disconnected. Uh, let's see. So pawn 8-6 is the best on move 1. <laughs> and he left. Yeah, way to go pawn hub. <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, I've never seen the triple gold, uh, gold line mate. So that's why I didn't read it outright. I tried. But like, I was lost anyway. What a way to go. Um, this pawn 2 6 is reckless. Yeah. Oh, he means pawn 4 5. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was unsure what. what pawn 4 5 was about. <laughs> Um, oh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, I should do this and that. Um. Just for those watching. I should study this. Although, this is still kind of weak. Um. So the timing of this sack isn't quite right. Oh, interesting. And that got us into a similar position in the game, where you ended up doing the rook sack, because I had not prepared for it. Um, so let's see. Maybe I should just do this. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think it's, oh, sure, yeah, go for it. Feel free to keep the host. Because <laughs> I'm still learning this stuff. It's pretty wild. Oh, so... Me too. I was very unclear about all of this. Uh, but in hindsight, like anything other than the game probably makes sense. Hmm. I wonder. Um, Maybe pawn drop here instead. Yeah, me either. This is tricky. <laughs> this is an up and down end game. Pawn up with the great troll advice, yeah. Or just pawn eight four. Yeah, this requires further investigation. 
So yeah, I just need to be more aggressive than I already was. Either that, I need to like either go extremely aggressive, which I didn't do, or I needed to um, back things off a little bit. There's no in-between ground with this opening. It's just sheer insanity from start to finish. suppose uh, engines can recommend many ideas for this kind of thing, but it's good to know that these are possible. did consider Rook takes Bishop, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I guess this is also confusing. How do you evaluate these positions with so many pawns removed and pa uh, piece drops and pawn drops everywhere? It's just too hard. Engines can do this, but you think pawn takes 9 once better than uh, pawn takes 8 1 because of gold 7 2. Why'd I play rook 8 7? I don't know. Why did I do anything? I was trying to trap the horse. It didn't work out. Um. Isn't pawn 8-3? Well, yes, in hindsight. I didn't know pawn 8-3 was, like, even... I considered it for a couple minutes, and I'm like, I could sit here all day considering it, but I need to play a game to figure out whether it's, what works and what doesn't. And I'm going to have another game someday where uh, I'm going to play pawn 8-3. Yeah, this is just, there's not enough time in this game to look at stuff deeply like that. Um, and I just had no idea. But yeah, no, you're right. Pawn eight three was basically the only move there. I didn't play it, and so I lost. Um, yeah, so black had some problems. Black being my opponent. Well, wait, what? No, I'm playing black here. Um. Yeah, my horse was in the corner for a long time. So, I mean, yeah, their horse also was not active for a very long time, but for me it probably matters more. 
Well, I'm sorry, this knight stayed here for a while. This horse was imprisoned for quite a while. But that's White's horse. My bishop drop here was bad. Yeah, I think there's just... I think I badly messed up. Yeah, no, I just misevaluated and misread all of this. Um, still winning for Toad. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's one opinion. Uh, yeah. The silver move. Uh, like, here I think I'm lost. But, again, engines can clarify. I think I missed some... Fundamental opening ideas like that. Pawn takes a three promote and misevaluated the uh, rucksack. But yeah, like here, there's not a whole lot to look at. So. Um, at least I don't think there is. <laughs> it must be the pieces. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else to review. But, um... Oh, cool. Yeah. What else to review? Uh... I misevaluated many positions. Uh, oh, he disconnected. Ah. I think that's fine. I know he did have to go at some point. Um, I myself have to go fairly soon, too. Like, our schedules don't overlap much at all, but yeah, he is lagging. I think he might have lagged, and I don't know whether that happened during the game or not. Um, oh, 55. So here I did Lance... Oh, yeah. I did think about this. Um, can just bring the horse... Oh! Oops. Yeah, that did cross my mind. And then I forgot. Um, so I was thinking, like, wait, no, that doesn't work. Um, that's what I was thinking, but it doesn't work at all. Um, what else? I don't know, man. The horse is powerful. Yeah. Somehow, I thought it didn't work. So, like, yeah, I imagined this getting dropped. I don't even know where now. So, like, I imagined this, and yeah, I missed this. So, um, that's what I was thinking. That's why I didn't retreat here. And this could have been a really complicated game. Um, yeah, so this horse uh, needed to be brought back. And by the time I brought it back, it was much, much too late. Um, and this buys time for me to attack. So likely my opponent's going to do some kind of defensive move and then I can start attacking. Um, again, there's like so many squares you can drop a piece on. Yeah. 
It's like, this is threatened, so he has to do something about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Also, I have a sneaky trap um, with like this. Um, yeah. So we all see that. Yeah. So this was a roller coaster of a game. Engines will tell us much more about it. Uh, I agree this horse move would have greatly changed things. Um, uh, I'll definitely run all this by Geeko engine. Um, since this game was really complicated, um, as most of these really unclear games are. But yeah, my opponent had to leave, and unfortunately, uh, I too have to leave. Um, thanks for the analysis. Um, we'll pick it up some other time, I suppose. Or we'll just continue it in Discord, or Shogi Harbor's Discord, or stuff like that. to leave work, so, um, um, likely I'll see him again, uh, soon, yeah, do game. Alright, so yeah, thanks to everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.